Hey GA Squad, welcome back for another video. Uh, I'm here, very serious, very prepared, HSC skill. Sizio is holding shapes. Geography shapes. It's an important geography prop. It'll, it'll make sense in a minute. Okay, so we're doing relative change or percentage change, which yes. is a graphing skill, comes up all the time in HSC. Not sure how the shapes are related. I'll get to it. Trust me, it's going to work. It'll work great. Uh, I think Sizio is just hungry. Well, look, that may, that's an unrelated problem. Let's look at relative change. So relative change is a very common question to get in HSCs and trial HSCs and in preliminary uh, yearlies and stuff like that. It basically is the most common question to ask if we're going to just interpret a graph or a set of data. So relative change is really just telling us how much something has changed over time as a percentage of where it started. The most common way or the most common type of data set you're going to get asked about in relation to this question is the population of a city. So let's say the population of a city or a country, I suppose, was this amount in 1990 and this amount in 2000 and this amount in 2010. How much did it change from 1990 to 2010, for example, as a percentage? Yeah, of where it started. So we're going to use this equation along the bottom, which you need to know. We're going to show you how to use it, which is difference over initial amount times 100. The times in 100 is just turning it into a percentage. percentage yeah. We have a really uh, easy explanation to kind of show the difference in uh, percentage increase and percentage decrease. And we're going to do that, apparently, using the world's worst biscuits. Uh, shapes. Yourself. They are fantastic. Um, and what we're doing here, if you can have a look, is we're going to have four shapes. We've got four single shapes to start. This could be shown as a bar graph, column graph, a line graph, however you want to put Sometimes it. Sometimes you might just be given the number in a text box in the broadsheet. It might just say it and then as a part of a paragraph. So it not, may not True. even be a, a, a graph itself. So we're starting with four here. If we were to have a 100% increase in our number of shapes. Wait, can I get my calculator? No, well, I think I can figure that out. If I increased four by 100%, is it another four? It is. is. It you've added 100% of what you've got there. So we could go from four I'm to really, eight. I've got another four pizza shapes. Hey, so 100% increase, we are doubling. Uh, if we were to put that into our equation, which we showed you before, the difference would be eight minus four. The difference is four over the original amount, which is four times 100 is going to give us a 100% 100% increase. increase. So again, the way this question would be asked is the population in city, in like, you know what, in Pizza Shape City, the population of Pizza Shape City was four in the year 2000. Now in 2022, the population of Shape City is eight. How much has the population increased? 100%. 100%. But now let's pretend the opposite happened. So mm. pizza shape city was eight pizza shapes. We, um, we, have, we have fertility issues in pizza shape city. Someone comes along and eats four of them. So we've gone from eight to four. Uh, what we are seeing here is not a 100% decrease because we haven't decreased all of our shapes. We've decreased half of our shapes. So that would be a 50% decrease. Again, you could use your equation. So you would do your initial amount as eight minus four, which would give us a difference of four. But instead of putting it over four as the initial, our initial was eight. So we would do four over eight times 100, which is gonna give us a 50% decrease. A 100% decrease of anything is going to leave us at zero. For that reason, you can have an increase of over 100%. You can have a 200, 300, 400% increase of something. But you can't have more than a hundred percent decrease yeah. in something because that would be zero. Yeah, very important that um, if you get the equation around the wrong way, and it's possible to do it in terms of increasing or decreasing, you increase the number by any percent and then decrease that number by the same percent, you won't get back to the number you started at. And that's a key um, premise behind this question, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at one on an actual column graph. Okay, we're gonna look at HSC source now. We've made up our own question, but this is from a 2018 HSC. You good? I'm just shape. Some people really hate hearing people eat on the internet. Click mute. So, 2018 HSC, we've got a composite graph. We're gonna do a whole video, I think, about how to read composite graphs. Definitely. Um, but for now, we're going to look at services from 1950 until? 2010. 2010. And we're gonna look at the relative change between those dates. Absolutely. 
So the first thing we need to work out is the difference. What is the difference in services between 1950 and 2010? So as you can see here or here or wherever, uh, wherever Sammy puts the, the Photoshop, I don't know, whatever it is, um, we can see that we begin in 1950, there are 58% of people employed in the service industry. And we've got four columns, but by the we only care about the first and the last column because it's between 2050, oh, sorry, 1950 and 2010. So by 2010, there are 85% of people employed. So that is a change from 58 to 85. What is the difference between 58 and 85? All you're gonna do is 85 minus 58, which is gonna give you 27, a difference of 27% between those two dates. Make sure you read your dates carefully. They're mm. not always just gonna do the first and last date, but it could give you any yeah, dates. Yeah, absolutely. That's that like, graph. yeah, they're, they're gonna, not every question is going to be a straightforward though. We're going to be try to tricky, be try to be tricky in a few of these. So make sure you read the question. So we've got a difference of 27. Our bottom figure uh, is going to be our initial amount. And we started at 58%. Yeah. So we're going to do 27 over 58 times 100, which is going to give us a 46.5% increase mm -hmm. in services between those two dates. Yeah. You'll notice that is not a, a change in, in, in total. Is that with, so it started at 58 and ended at 85. So it's only increased by 27% total, like of the total amount of workers in, in the labor force. But we care about the relative change. Now be very careful because it's almost certain that one of the wrong answers in the HSC will be 27%. Yeah. And that will be wrong. And they put that one in there specifically so you get that wrong answer and go, all right, well, 27. I've got that on my calculator. Good, we're good. And if you're wondering, like, why do we care? Think about it this way. If we had an industry that was 10% and it rose to 20%, it's double. That's a huge increase for that industry. How much is that increase? Is it a 100% increase? It's a 100% increase. 100 increase. But if you were to just look at the raw data, you say, well, it's only increased by 10%. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you were to take one that maybe was 60% and rose to 70%, that rose by 10% as well. Mm -hmm. But if we're looking at how much the industry has actually grown, that 10% to 20% is a much bigger growth for that industry. It's 100% growth. Perfect, growth. Perfect, perfect example of this. Before humans started to put carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, we had about 280 parts per million in the atmosphere of carbon dioxide. We've increased it, to, well, I say only, to 420 parts per million. It still as a fraction of the atmosphere, a tiny amount, but it is almost a hundred percent increase. I haven't worked it out yet, but we can work it out. Would you say that the increase is relative to where it started? It is relative to where it started. It's a hundred percent, almost, almost a hundred percent increase from its its original position. And that has a massive effect. And, just, and some people might say, well, it's, a, well, it's still a tiny part of the atmosphere, but percentage wise, it's massively increased. We work in a school. Yeah, there's the bell. I've bell. probably, I've probably got to go do stuff. All right, well, Relative change. Relative change. That was it. I hope you enjoyed. You. I hope you relatively enjoyed we this video. We did shoot an outro. We did shoot an outro. Enjoy well, that now. Enjoy, enjoy the outro. This video is really shaping up to be one of our best. Okay, so that is relative percentage change all sorted. Sizio is still eating. Why I'm, are you still eating? I've learned so much. Geography is tasty. Geography is tasty. And on that, we will see you next week. Check us out on Instagram at geography underscore explained underscore online. Three years later, I don't know where the dinger is. It's here somewhere. Hit the dinger, follow, subscribe, hit the dinger so you get updates and we will see you again soon. Geo squad. Yeah.